This is coming to you from McGee's Clearing and Grading. It's going to be us going in making some repairs to some creek crossings they had washed out. As you can see in this first picture right here, this is just kind of showing you what we had to work with with the creek that had washed out. And the pipe that you see laying up on the bank right here, it's the pipe that had actually, when it washed it all away, it washed this pipe on down the creek. So we had to retrieve it, bring it back up here, and we just set it up here because we're going to use this pipe on another creek crossing later on in this video and we've had to go purchase another bigger pipe which you'll see right here right this is the pipe we've already put it in the creek right here we're just kind of adjusting the pipe getting it even with the road on both sides so that when we do fix the crossing you'll be able to drive directly across it right here now that we've laid the pipe in the creek and we've kind of got it level and all has the right slope to it so the water will flow through it correctly. My brother's just standing on it right here and he's just kind of overlooking it and just making sure everything is okay before we go ahead and put dirt all on top of it and start making the roadway. Now that we've got the pipe in the creek and kind of secured it with some dirt around it and got it at the right angle where we need it, we're going to need a whole lot more dirt to make the roadway over the pipe. So my dad's went to a nearby hillside with the traco. He's going to be digging off the hillside, making a huge pile of dirt behind him right here. I'll be on the skid steer. I'm going to be picking the dirt up and transporting that dirt that he's digging off the hillside all the way to the pipe and dumping it on the pipe and start building the roadway over the pipe right here. Well, after working a few hours, it was time to eat lunch. This is kind of our little setup every day. We eat lunch right here, just kind of throwing this in. This is a little camp chair and eating a salad, trying to eat healthy. <laughs> and this is me right here before I go back to work. All right, after a quick lunch, we're back at it again. This is us on the skid steer. We're picking it up. And I believe my brother was driving the skid steer right here. He was taking the dirt down there and filling it up over the pipe. Now that I'm driving the skid steer right here, getting the dirt, taking it down here and building the crossing up, I've turned the camera on on the skid steer. So you're really going to get a close up. If you've never been on a skid steer and you know how it operates, just give you a better idea on how the skid steer works and what it's like to be able to pick the dirt up and take it over here and dump the dirt over the pipe and building this creek crossing up right here. Now that we've got all the dirt down here over the pipe, filling up the creek crossing right here, you'll see my dad come down here on the traco and he's kind of moving the dirt around, packing it with the bucket because you can really put a lot of pressure on the dirt and pack it. And it's kind of like we're finishing up the job right here on this creek crossing. As you can see right here, it's all smooth. He's walked it in back and forth with the traco, tightened up the dirt and everything. Now you can be able to take a your vehicle or side by side or four wheel or whatever and ride right across this creek right here with no problem whatsoever. Well we finished with this creek crossing but we still have another creek crossing we're fixing to go to and we're going to take the old pipe that we took out of this creek because it was a little bit too small for it and we're going to be taking it to this other creek crossing right here and you're going to see the videos and pictures that I've taken right here of us working on this creek crossing.
Okay, sort of like the other pipe we was working on. My dad's done cleaned the creek out. We've set the pipe over into the creek. And now we're getting dirt off a hillside behind the tracker right here, placing it on the pipe. And my brother's on the skid steer right here, and he's just picking the dirt up, taking it over here and back and forth, filling in the um, around the pipe and all, and making the roadway. Right, here's a good shot I took right here of the pipe. It's already in the creek. Water's already flowing through the pipe. And my brother's already built up on both sides of the pipe right here with dirt. And he's just going to continue to pile dirt on top of it and smooth it out till it gets on the other side in order to make the roadway across here. Okay, now that we've built the creek crossing up and we can cross the creek and go over the pipe on the other side, my brother's taking the track out and he's probably going about 20, 25 yards upstream. And it's some high ground, so he's actually digging out some of the high ground right here. And what it is, this he'll dig it out all the way to the roadway on the back side of the roadway. So if we have heavy rains and this creek fills up, Majority of time there, if we do have heavy rains, there'll be so much water coming down this creek that the pipe cannot take all this water at one time, and it'll wash the pipe and the roadway completely away. And like I said, that's why we're over here to begin with. It, these creek crossings got washed away with a lot of heavy rains we've had. So this should fix the problem right here. Also, if we have some heavy rains, it gives the water just a, another revenue instead of going all of it going down, hitting the pipe at one time. Once it hits the pipe, starts filling up, it's going to take this route right here and it's going to go around the roadway to the back side of the pipe and back into the creek and it just really keeps from the creek crossing getting washed out. Alright, as you can see right here, we've already built up the creek crossing. We've almost completed it. We're just going on the top of it right here, smoothing it up, walking the dirt in. We're cleaning it up. Making it a little bit wider right here, so if it does, a lot of water does come down the creek at one time, it just gives it another revenue right here of where it is not all hitting the pipe at one time. And plus, with this and what my brother dug out about 15, 20 yards in front of the pipe, which you saw earlier, should keep any heavy rains and all this water from washing this pipe away right here. Okay, now that we've completed the, this creek crossing right here, the land owner will be able to drive his vehicle across this creek where before he couldn't. Um, we've already put the pipe in, put all the dirt, we've got the track o and packed the dirt across the creek crossing so it's good to go right here and this is some of the aftershots of when we got finished with it.